Craig obviously controlled that for 75 minutes and then ended with the draw from 2 0 up. Is it disappointing? Yeah, it's a devastated dressing room. Um, you know, you think we'd lost, you think we just lost the title the way the, the lads are down in there. You know, you, you dominate a game for so long. We have, we have 14 shots, 15 crosses into the box, and yet I think it was 240 completed passes, and yet we still come out of the game two apiece. So the lads, the lads are obviously quite upset. So just need to bounce back. How important was the timing of their goals? Because obviously it's quite late in the game. Um, there were still a few chances, but they sort of stepped it up again in the last five, 15. Minutes. Yeah, I, th I think they stepped it up a little bit, and we, I think second half we were off the gas. I think we were 10% down on what on what we needed to be. You know, it's been quite a, a brutal dressing room. I think that's been been agreed that you know we weren't we weren't at the races in the second half. We weren't particularly great in the first half. I know we were two 0 up, but you know it was almost it, it seemed too easy, and we just. We did step it up, and they did. And you know, the, you're always going to concede goals at this level. You know, the teams are, teams are good teams. You know, and there's, there's always that threat. And one goal, two nils, a horrible score anyway. So the minute someone gets one, then, you, then you're up against it. Speaking of conceding, it was quite unlucky for Jay there to um, concede off the back of it. How obviously the goalkeeper coach? What was your take on it? Yeah, Jay, Jay's held, held his hand up when he came in. Said that he, he should have done better with it. You know, I could stand here at Keepers Union and make, make excuses for him, but he's been quite clear that the, the goal was his mistake. So, and, you know, he's made one mistake all season. So, but unfortunately, as a keeper, you don't get you don't get another chance. So it's just one of them things. Jail bounced back. You know, he's, in my opinion, he's the best keeper in, in the league, if not if not one of the best keepers in non-league. So he, he won't have an issue with it. It'll be fine. Um, like I say, we're still unbeaten. Um, lads, keep the head up and move on. Um, going up to the other end of the pitch, so Jordan's now got two goals, three assists, and he's on fire at the moment. Is he going to be key going forward for the rest of the season now? Yeah, I think, I think John, John's obviously a very good player. He's a, talent, he's a talented young boy, you know. But then you've got the likes of Danny Webber, Gas said, and we've got the young Sam, who's not playing much of a part yet. But you know, you see him in training. The lads a handful. So going forward, we're not we're not concerned. It will click. You know, like I said, we're unbeaten. This isn't. You know, we're not talking end of season relegation dull, doldrums. You know, it's uh, as a team we've just got to, you know, just put teams away when we're two 0 up. We've got to put them away, and we, you know, don't give them a sniff. And unfortunately, it just didn't happen tonight. But you know, we, we missed Seds. You know, Seds wasn't playing. He was a big player. You know, Tunji, experience in midfield. But the lads that were in, you know, Luke Clark and Luke Given did did really well. You know, they, you know, they couldn't have done much more. They're not very good on the ball, but. You know, it's one of them things. It's not. It's not the end of the world. It's two apiece against Colwyn Bay. I think we were in the Conference North last year. You know, we were in the Evo Stick Division One. You know, let, let's be real about it. That's that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And you know, might get run over by this banner. You know, we'll bounce back. We've got Buxton Saturday. We beat Buxton. Suddenly, we're we're back on the uh, back enjoying it.